So this gentleman posted himself online. He has myasthenia gravis since 2023. Now, within this time frame, he has been intubated seven times. And this is the process of him being extubated. I've made a video about extubation a year ago, and everybody in the comments was trying to correct me and say intubation. They're removing the tube. But a little bit on myasthenia gravis, this is a neuromuscular disorder. So he can have muscle weakness, uh, weakness in his arms, his joints, facial drooping, difficulty swallowing, breathing, talking. It, it's a big deal. So usually a uh, respiratory therapist removes the tube. So this is the process. Sorry that video was a bit loud, but there is a process when removing that ET tube. So of course, the respiratory therapist will titrate that ventilator down to where you can see the patient breathing a bit on their own. Then of course, it's a process for them to remove the tube, extubation. When that tube is removed, the nurse closely monitors to see if that patient needs to be intubated again within the next 24 hours if there are any breathing issues.